Pointers are no exception to the understood rule that dog training is hard work. Training this breed takes time and patience to get right, but once it's done, it's well worth the effort. Pointers are stubborn, easily distracted, and excitable so new dog owners may find it more difficult to train their pointer if they don't know what they're doing. Pointers are easier to train as puppies and if the owner is patient and consistent. Understanding how to train your pointer will go a long way into making the process easy and enjoyable. Knowing how your pointer thinks and behaves will help you utilize important commands for your pointer to be everything you hoped he or she would be. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. The secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Training pointers. Training a pointer is not easy in the sense that it takes time and consistency. It is not going to be something that is accomplished in one week. However, it isn't hard if you have the time and patience dedicated to doing things right. All dogs should be given some sort of training during puppyhood that shows them the ins and outs of what will be expected of them. The earlier you begin training, the better off the dog will be. The thing about the pointer breed is that they're very hyperactive and can become distracted easily. The key to success while training a pointer is patience. The training is not difficult per se, but it is definitely not a walk in the park. A lot of people will get frustrated and give up right before their puppy has gotten the hang of it. Pointers respond well to positive reinforcement and consistency. It may take a few weeks or months, but once your pointer has developed the habits you're trying to instill in it, you will be better off. Training is important for the sake of obedience within the home and out in public, but it's also very important if you want your pointer to go hunting with you. It's best to start training as a puppy. The most important step you can take when training your pointer is to start immediately. Just like we start teaching our children colors, names, and numbers as soon as possible, you want to start training your puppy early. Puppies are more receptive to developing new habits than older dogs. That is exactly what you're doing, helping show them the habits that you want them to have. Most people can get their pointer when the puppy is around 7 or 8 weeks old. Everything you do from that moment on will help shape your dog into what you want it to be. The great strength that pointers have is that they're very intelligent and receptive to teaching. They are open and willing to learn, but you usually have to overcome their short attention spans and energetic spirits to really get things moving. Immediately, you'll want to start getting them used to specific commands. Some of the most important ones are, sit, stay, and down. Other important commands when teaching your pointer to be a good hunting companion will be heal and woe. Well. Positive reinforcement is crucial. A lot of people think that a harsh tone and a nice handful of puppy pebbles are the best training method for a dog. While the fear approach may seem successful for some dogs, pointers do not respond well to these methods. Using positive reinforcement makes training your pointer a lot less difficult. Pointers are more sensitive than some dog breeds plus they can be stubborn. The most effective ways to gain your pointer's trust and obedience are through patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. This will help make the process of training your pointer a lot easier. This reinforcement can take the form of encouraging words, petting, and food treats. Combining food treats and words of encouragement is the absolute best method. Now, I'm not saying that negative reinforcement is bad. There must be an opposite to help your dog understand good versus bad. You just don't want this negativity to cause blinding fear. In training, it is effective to start activities over again with no treat or encouragement whenever a mistake is made. Immediately after the dog performs how you wanted it to, give it a treat. Crate training your pointer can be hard. When your pointer is a puppy, you will want to crate train them. This is for house training and also to help curb their destructive behaviors brought on by too much energy. Pointers are naturally hyperactive with lots of energy and need for exercise. 
When they are left in a cage too long or not taken out to play and exercise then they can become bored and destructive by chewing and barking. The first step in crate training is actually getting them into the crate without panic or bad associations. I know if I was being shoved into a small dark hole with a metal gate door I'd be reluctant to cooperate. You'll want to have treats on the ready to show your puppy that this is a good thing. Give them a treat from your hand then put them on the ground while holding their collar. Next, extend the hand with the treat into the crate while gently giving the collar pressure to lead them inside. After they're inside, put the treats in the crate and shut the door. Learning important commands makes it easier. Training your pointer to follow a lead will be another important thing especially when you want to take them on walks, runs, or bike rides. A lead is also an important tool when teaching them how to obey certain commands in everyday life or when hunting. Get your dog a nylon strap collar that is snug but not tight. You don't want it slipping off their head, but you also don't want to hurt them or cause them discomfort. Attach a short lead to the collar and allow the puppy to roam with it dragging next to them for a while. This will help get them comfortable and familiar with it being with them. The lead can be a great help in teaching your dog the heel command. You'll want to have a pocket full of treats whenever you're training your puppy. Put a treat in the hand to the side of your body that you want your dog to heal too. Say your dog's name and the command heel while putting pressure on the lead to direct them to the treat in your hand. Tips to make training for hunting go smoothly. Pointers are hunting dogs by breeding. They are meant to point hunters to small prey and birds. Training for this will come with just as much patience as you had when doing basic command training. The good news is that the commands learned above, along with basic ones like sit, will be instrumental in helping your pointer learn to assist in hunting. The great thing about pointers is that they have incredible instincts. Owners have reported natural pointing in dogs that were as little as two months old. These are great building blocks for hunters. The best way to train is to take them out to where you would want to hunt and continue training. Your dog will begin to understand when they're going outside or going to hunt and become very excited. You want to remain in control throughout the trip so you have to command them while still at home. Telling them to heal and sit while preparing to leave will help concentrate them. Continue giving similar commands to stop and sit on the way in and out of the car. Control is key to keeping their attention. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.